we previously proved this theorem, telling us how we can write any vector from an inner product space as a linear combination of vectors from an orthogonal or orthonormal basis for that space. I'll leave a link in the description to the video where we introduced and proved this theorem. Today we'll do an example of writing a vector in terms of orthonormal basis vectors. We'll also write the coordinate vector relative to that orthonormal basis. So we are asked to write this vector u as a linear combination of the vectors in S, which is an orthonormal basis for R cubed containing these three vectors. You may want to quickly verify that these vectors do indeed form an orthonormal basis. To do that, we may begin by computing dot products. Indeed, each distinct pair of vectors from the basis has a dot product of zero, and so they are orthogonal. Then we may verify that they are unit vectors. Indeed, they are. For example, the norm of V1 is the square root of the sum of the squares of its components. That would be negative 3 fifths squared, which is 9 over 25, plus 4 fifths squared, which is 16 over 25. That's 25 over 25, which is 1 in a square root is 1. Very similar computation for v2, and v3 is obviously a unit vector. So these vectors are orthogonal unit vectors. We know that they form a basis because as we previously proved, link in the description, a set of orthogonal vectors is linearly independent. So for sure, this is an orthonormal basis for r cubed. Then it's very straightforward to apply the theorem to write u as a linear combination of v1, v2, and v3. It's just the inner product of u with v1 times v1, plus the inner product of u with v2 times v2, plus the inner product of u with v3 times v3. The inner product here is the dot product, so we just have to do those computations. For u dot v1, for example, we have 1 times negative 3 fifths, so negative 3 fifths, plus negative 4 times 4 fifths, so minus 16 fifths, and the last term would be 0. For u dot v2, we would have 1 times 4 fifths, so 4 fifths, minus 4 times 3 fifths, so minus 12 fifths, and the last term is 0. For u dot v3, we would just get 2. Negative 3 fifths minus 16 fifths is negative 19 fifths, and so on. Just do the arithmetic, and this is our linear combination. u is equal to negative 19 fifths v1 plus negative 8 fifths v2 plus 2 v3. These coefficients of v1, v2, and v3 can be used to write the coordinate vector of u relative to this basis. So the coordinate vector of u relative to the basis s consisting of those three orthonormal vectors is negative 19 fifths, negative 8 fifths, 2. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.